This story happened 10 years ago. In my entryway lived a family consisting of a mom, a dad and a daughter. They lived amicably, no one could say anything bad about them. It was nice to look at their always friendly, smiling faces. Maybe sometimes they caught some envious looks. But there was an accident. Father and daughter were killed in an automobile accident while returning home from a summer cottage in the evening. Lucy, the wife and mother, only found out about it 24 hours later, as she had stayed overnight at the cottage. There was a funeral, a wake. A month later, Lucy was hard to recognize. From a beautiful, young, cheerful woman she turned into an old woman. She withdrew into herself and tried not to be seen by anyone she knew. Apparently, she was tired of the constant condolences. Everything would have gone on as it was if it hadn't been for one incident. One day I suddenly began to notice that she stands near the entrance and only goes in there with one of her neighbors. She used to avoid it, on the contrary. One evening, as I approached my driveway, I noticed that Aunt Lucy was pretending to look for something in her purse. I went up to her and said hello. We had a meaningless conversation, during which I noticed her strange behavior. During the conversation, she turned her head sharply several times to look away. Then she smiled again, but in a guilty way. Then, Coming close to me, she asked quietly with a half-smile on her face. Do you see anyone else behind me? The question caught me off guard. I answered that there was no one there. Then she took me by the elbow and pulled me into the entryway. She lived on the first floor. Saying something quietly to me, She quickly opened the door with her key and immediately slammed it in my face. I never understood what she was saying to me. For several weeks now, from my kitchen window, located right above the driveway, I had been watching Aunt Lucy's strange behavior. She would walk across the yard, always looking around, sometimes bouncing strangely and jerking her arms as if someone invisible were grabbing her elbows. <coughs> One night, Lucy's neighbors called the police after hearing horrible screams coming from her apartment. But she didn't open the door to anyone, saying that she was fine, just that she had accidentally turned up the volume on the TV. Lucy's strange behavior became the subject of gossip among all our neighbors. She answered all questions with a mysterious smile. In the end, everyone decided that she had gone crazy, having lost the people she loved. So they stopped paying attention to her. One day I was sitting at home and the doorbell rang. It was the police. They asked me how long I had seen Aunt Lucy. After thinking about it, I answered that it was about a week ago. A couple hours later I heard a strong noise on the landing. I went out into the entryway and saw that the rescuers were breaking open the door to Lucy's apartment. The door, it must be said, was not a cheap one. I didn't interfere, my presence would have been unnecessary and from the kitchen window I could still see what was going on outside. After a while, the policeman brought out a black plastic bag. An ambulance arrived. Of course, I was curious about what had happened, but realizing that the worst had happened, I was in no hurry to ask questions. I later learned the following. Aunt Lucy's body was found in a bathtub filled with water. 
The bathroom itself was in chaos. The plastic curtain was simply torn. The fingernails on Lucy's hands had been scraped off, and bloody streaks were visible on the tiled walls of the tub. Wisps of hair from Aunt Lucy's head were floating in the water. She was lying face down in the water. It looked as if she had been forcibly drowned, but she was trying to get out. The door and windows in the apartment were locked from the inside, and the handles on the windows were even taped with wire, so that the window could not be opened with the handles open. Naturally, everything was written off as a suicide. But I still wonder who Aunt Lucy saw behind her back. Maybe they still managed to get close enough to her on that terrible day.